Welcome back everyone. My name is Cody Campbell and we are continuing our StarCraft 2 Let's Play. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Alright, let's go there. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. Unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors. The Talarim. They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years, but in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Tal'Darim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of, a byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Okay, uh, what do we have? Mm. All right, let's go. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Tal'Darim are preparing to fire upon the facility. <sighs> and it 
it's late, but I, that's how I like it, recording my videos. Had a fan here, blowing some cool air. Excuse me. Cool. The Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! The shadow! The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Because we stand one. Detecting a Taldarim force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. are now calibrated to warp them in as well. require more Vespine gas. require more Vespine gas.
Upgrade complete. <laughs> skills for the reckoning it appears the station scientists were storing raw solar right here as well if possible we should obtain it intriguing I excellent solar right gathered there are cool. This route with a force field. We will have to find a way around it to destroy its power source. Complete. For the reckoning. Discovered more sentries. I will activate them now. Placement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. them away from the beam. a large stronghold here. Templar, pull back. We do not have time to engage this base. I think 
think our forces are looking for some excitement, Hierarch. Get them away from the beam! Another solarite sample obtained. Cool. It shall be as you say. For the reckoning. Bringing nearby centuries online. from stasis. Solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them.
me see what that was. Uh, destroy all. Huh. Intriguing. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of Adun. Wait. There is... a prototype war here, here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. All right. That was a bit fast paced. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix, how... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought, well, he believes he was brought from stasis and made a dragoon. Here, Phoenix. I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Karax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. 
We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. You dare too much, Artanis. Your youth makes you rash. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. Carax has utilized data from Glacius to bring the robotic sentinels online. Use them wisely, Hierarch. The enemy shall be purified. Text that checks that one out. I think I think we'll, we'll keep with those. With the purifier technology secured, our eyes can finally turn to our brothers, the Dark Templar. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. Oh, oh, that was that was only one mission. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's kind of that was. Well then, um, I, I guess, I guess we'll call call that a video. I guess. I hope you all enjoyed this short video the Protoss. Anyways, my name is Cody Campbell, and I'll see you next time.